Hello, Sharks. My name is... Oh, wait a minute. Wrong show. Actually, my name is Gary Boring, and this is my submission for the groundbreaking hyperprize, which asks us to look at two things. One is low-head hydro, in this case, less than 30 feet, and also the efficiency of a foundation for a hydropower plant. So here's a traditional small hydro plant. I chose to focus on small hydro plants, places like Alaska, Hawaii, Greenland, where we have diesel generators just spewing out carbon. So something very much needs to be addressed. So we have a source up here, comes down, the water comes down through the pipe, through the penstock, over the turbine, makes power, out through the tail race, and goes down into the stream. Very traditional plant, spread footing, stem walls. So we have a traditional excavation. So traditionally, we would come in here, excavate this out, and excavation. That's where the problem's coming. You can get in here, you can have rocks, you can have sand that wants to move in here. You can have permafrost. Uh, and our worst enemy, obviously, is groundwater, which you have to pump out, you have to treat. Groundwater is our worst enemy. You may even have to shore this to get it to stand up. Lots of risk and lots of possible risk. So we propose to raise these small power plants up a few feet. And yes, you lose a couple of feet ahead. But in cases like permafrost, you have no choice. You cannot dig down into the permafrost. So the dirt, the ground level is down here. We've raised this up on some piers. We're pulling piers. These could be micropile, they could be caissons. It'll just depend on what the soil conditions are. Anyway, raise this up. Water comes down, hits an above grade tail race, goes down here. Notice there is no excavation. We don't get into any of this bad hooey down here, and so the risk is reduced. So there it is in a 90 second nutshell the risk reduction method, and thank you for your time.